Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today we have a special guest. Aaliyah Ali. Period. Y'all, go follow her YouTube channel because you know. She finna start giving me y'all like content about like like what is it? Like family, like family. room, grown stuff. Like she's in the process of buying a house, you know, with the VA loan and everything. So I know it's a lot of people, you know, they ask questions about that. And that's just, you know. Real boss moves. Bro. And I, that's not I'm my journey right now. Boss. That's her journey. So you need to go over to her channel and follow her journey so that you can make it your journey. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah, we in the car, y'all. We at Chick or KFC right now and we have food. I'm gonna show y'all food real quick. Okay, y'all, so they give you a little biscuit, which I'm not ready to <laughs> And I got some mashed potatoes. Bro, they must have to be buzzing like Oh yeah. My mama's mashed potatoes don't They like famous this. though. I should have got a bigger one. But you think they mashed potatoes be buzzing? I need to taste my mashed potatoes. Okay. And then y'all, I have some chicken and some fries. Yeah, y'all. So today we're gonna be talking. Oh, and I have a a raspberry tea. Davis has what do you have? So, um, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, and she has tenders. Tenders and fries. Yes. So today is gonna be a very educative mm -hmm. um video, video today. And we're gonna be talking about the swim part of boot camp. Yes, and what our experience was like. Yeah, and like the facts, mm -hmm. the facts about it. Okay, so basically, it's during P days. P days is processing days where like, you just get like shots in your arm and like, well you in like this processing like compartment barracks basically. Mm -hmm. Where like y'all fresh y'all get there and y'all get your shots and everything. And you know, y'all just, you know, get to meet your RDCs and everything. And y'all get mm -hmm. issued like everything, mm -hmm. like toothbrush, clothes, panties, or skivvies. Like they give you everything. So that's yeah, very much processing. So you there, and then during the first week, that's like a week long. And then the first week, you go swimming. You do your swim qualification, right? Mm -hmm. So first, you know, you in this room, and they like talking to you about like you know. What were they even talking about? They was just talking so to you about swim. When you go in there, they're gonna tell you no talking. No. Basically, if you're talking, you're pretty much gonna fail. And you don't need to get the sleepy, opportunity to do it. If you're sleepy, stand up, go to the bulkhead. Like, ain't no sleeping in boot camp. No like. sleeping. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting, you're sitting at attention. They'll show you what that looks like. Yeah. When you get in there, but pretty much it's both your hands on your knees, that type of thing. If you don't know what it looks like, make sure you, you know, go do your research before you go. They're gonna tell you anyways. They're gonna tell you. They're gonna show you too as well. Um, I know it's a lot of y'all probably like scared if you're not an experienced swimmer. Some of y'all might be an experienced swimmer, so you're not might be, you might not be scared at, about that at all. You might think it's an exciting process. I thought swimming was gonna be exciting. I thought the swimming part was gonna be exciting. Like I could swim. I'm not like no professional uh, diver or nothing like that, but I know how to swim, and I knew I was gonna pass it, which I did pass it. But we're gonna tell you about our experience because it was different than what we expected it to be. Okay. So that's the same with me. Like, I'm not like no, like that. Mm -hmm. But like, I ain't gonna drown. I'm gonna get to the other side, mm -hmm. regardless. So this basically how it goes. So you go in there and you get your division. And they do like this little PowerPoint thing and they tell you what kind of swims you can do. Like what type of, type of strokes you yeah, can so do. There's, so it's like three different there's ones. There's the backstroke. Backstroke side stroke it's like you kick well, with your scissors it might not be side stroke it might be side something else but there is and an actual like traditional swimming okay i'm gonna put we're gonna put that. i'm gonna show you pictures like of each one that yeah. you could do you could do so this is what happened right y'all get y'all bathing suits on whatever mm -hmm. so y'all go out there to the bleachers and this is what had happened 
So, the first thing you're going to do is jump off of a 10 foot tower. Is it 10 or is it 12? It's 10 foot. I'm going to put it if I'm wrong. I'm put 10 it. foot. Tower. Feel more like 15 foot, just letting you know. Okay. So, then you line up two people at a time. Y'all go up there, mm -hmm. y'all climb up to the little ladder thing, and y'all up there. When you get up there, you don't have time to think. It's a big ass flag, American flag. You don't they got tell time you to say no. Yeah, they tell you to look at the flag, like to swim to what you're going to, like look at what you trying to get to. You know what I'm saying? Don't back so, down. You're gonna fail. As soon as you get down. up there, they go. I forget what you say. Like say ready or some shit. I don't know. You say something, and then they push you. Like it's not like a like that. It's like mm -hmm. a. Like that. Because mm -hmm. people will start to think about it and they, they start panicking. They start panicking. They don't think panic. they're going to just shove you. They're not going to just shove not you. Not going to like. So people that be telling you they push me, they ain't push you. Like, they're they definitely. Tap you. They're going to tap you and get you out there so you don't have time to rethink it. It's so like, like literally they're going to tap right you here. and you're going to go. Like, you're, they're not going to give you time to lean back and push back because yeah. you're going to, first of all, you're going to hurt somebody. Else, oh, yourself. you're going to hurt yourself. And it's just going to be a whole bad situation. But do you gonna step be, to literally. The have yeah. your hands on your shoulder. Have no time to think. You don't have time to think. You're gonna grab your nose like this, basically, and you better. You and know, they're gonna go and catch your like them. And it's like a little, like <laughs> just go. It's like this part of your back. Like they have. It's two people, right? So the man, the man is like in the middle, and it's the person right mm -hmm. here and the person right here. And, like, and y'all do that, and they literally like this. And then because if you think about it, like you can really hurt yourself if you get there, and you know what I mean. There's so, literally gonna be like six or seven people in the pool with you in the water, ready to get you the moment you get in the water. Even if you know how to swim, yeah. they're still gonna direct you because you have to go around the buoy. Yeah, to, in a certain direction. Okay, so once you jump, right, you're in the water. It's like she said, it's like ten people in the water, so mm -hmm. you're not gonna drown. So that's what they tell you: don't panic. Because you're not gonna drown, they're not gonna let you drown. They yeah. might let you swallow a little bit of water. Cause stop being extra. Yeah, they're gonna. But they got the little pole thing. They're gonna get you. Like mm -hmm. the professional divers are in there with you. Like mm -hmm. ten of them. I swear to God, the whole way through, you're gonna be fine. So they push you. You get in the water. They help you kind of up a little bit. Like they, like they see you struggling. They're gonna, mm -hmm. gonna try to help you up. If you're struggling real, real bad, they just automatically take you out of the pool. Like they like, nope, get out. Like yeah. you're done. But if you're in there, like with me. I jumped and I was kind of because it was so high. I was like, oh! and I got in there, but like I can get to the top, right? And that's when the lady she was telling me she's like, calm down, calm down, calm down. And I was calming down, and then you can literally back float the whole way. So that's what I did. Yeah, I got on my back, literally back floating the whole way through, y'all. It's and like probably Olympic. gonna tell you. They're probably yeah. gonna tell you the backstroke. Like if they see you trying to do something and you're they're not doing you. it. They're gonna be like, back float, yeah. back float. And mm -hmm. if you're not listening, they're gonna make you get out and you yeah. fail. And you fail. So. Yeah. Basically, I would say be calm about it because, like I said, they're not gonna let you drown. Like they know they do this every, sorry, they do this every day. Like you're not special or nothing. Like they're not gonna let you drown. You know what I mean? And keep in mind the people that's the divers, they are in the military, okay? Yeah. And they do not the way that boot camp is set up. We're not gonna spill too much of that, but the way that boot camp is set up, the way that they mentally are like training your mind. Those people are in there. They're not being friendly with you mm -hmm. at all. No. They're not going to be friendly with you. Yeah. So going there with a the mindset of, okay, let me you not be too you scared. Yeah. Let me do it. Because they're trying to get you in and out. They don't have all day to be in there with you. And mm -hmm. they're not going to, they're going to tell you that. They're not going to be in there babysitting you either. So don't mm -hmm. go in there. But with that being said, they're not going to let you drown. But they're not going to like follow you the whole way. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a line of them. So like at some point when you're swimming, it's somebody there to, mm -hmm. that if something to happen. But they're not going to be like, Come on, you got it, you got it. No, they're going to be like, get up yep. or float or get in your back or something. They're, if you're not listening, they're going to get you out. Yeah, they're going to get you out. Simple as that. So don't you look like about you're it. choking, they're going to get you out. And let me tell you, it is tiring, okay? Yes. Getting all the way down there on on your back is so tiring. So you got to do whatever you could do not to give up. Talk to yourself in your mind and say, I got this. Mm -hmm. Just breathe. Like, that's one thing I did when I was backstroking. I was got really relaxed because... When you're relaxed, you can do it. And, and you, can, you know, you can do it. Trust. There's no rush to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. Like me, I was really back floating. I was, I was thinking of my mom. I was like, mama, I got this. Like, mm -hmm. I looked up the whole time. I was like, damn, I'm still back floating. Mm -hmm. Like, shit, man, I ain't done yet. Like, they're not rushing. Like, hurry up. You got to do that this time. Mm -hmm. No. No. Just get over there and you're good. The great thing about this is when you pass this one time, you never have to go again. Literally, you'll think because the Navy, oh, we're going swimming like all the time. Hell nah. You do that shit one time, yeah. your ass don't never got to come back. You'll never have to do it again. Unless it's you your fail. choice. 
if you want to do it again because there's like certain qualifications in, in your future career that yeah if you do another swimming test you can be classified with mm -hmm. other stuff so just keep that in mind if you're really good at it yeah also i know like i said there's, there's three parts of the swim so the first one is when you jump out the tower <clears throat> the second one is prone float which is when you in the water like this and they're gonna tell you like what is like every 30 seconds you gotta um, lift your head out the water and then you gotta do it it's yeah. really called like the death it's called the prone float but like it's like really like you act it's like you're dead kind seconds. of every 10 seconds you like you in the water like this you're like your head's in the water then you come mm -hmm. up and then you go right back down a lot of people couldn't do that once again you can't back float my damn motherfucker y'all when i tell y'all i did not even get in that water i knew i couldn't do that shit just like this no ma'am i said um can i back float and he was like go over there and i thought i had failed i was like oh shit but nah that same day literally mm -hmm. you back float for five minutes mm -hmm. the prone but either one you do is five minutes i can't i can't do this y'all i can't do it but that back flowing you back float so they put you in like a it's the same pool but it's like you know how they got the little ball things that's like section yeah you know the little float they float in the water the boys, it's like that they like little pool boys yeah and they like connecting the line mm -hmm. so they put y'all in there and then they you back float for five minutes or you're doing a prone float oh you have coveralls on mm -hmm. oh, and then that's what you do you like open the coveralls and you splash water the coveral into one it. is so quick yeah you're literally gonna be in there for five seconds they're mm -hmm. gonna make you put on that coverall it's gonna be soaking wet because other people already done put it on it's just so nasty they're gonna make you put it on it's gonna be cold they're gonna tell you to hurry up and get in the pool the moment you're in the pool you floating the water is so deep that you're floating i, the, I think that pool was at least 15 foot mm -hmm. a real olympic pool yeah a real olympic pool so you're gonna get in the water your body's gonna float regardless like you would think you're probably gonna drown that water's not your the like the level of your what is it called like Are your density level your density level i think is what it is the of your body is much lighter than you think it is and when you get in that water you're not gonna just sink you just i don't know why people think that you're just gonna sink when you get I in the pool that. it's not i used to think that too that's what i'm saying now. i don't know why we think that but it's not gonna happen like that you're gonna float and literally you're gonna smack that water in there like three times and they're gonna say you need to get out you and open the cover up, like a jacket okay it's not a jacket but i'm trying to explain to you it's gonna like, be like a life, like a zipper thing it's gonna turn into like a life jacket because and you open it you splash mm -hmm. water in it and like hella air get in it mm -hmm. so you float in because that's what you were that's what everybody want to ship so in case god forbid something happened you yeah. already got it on where you could just exactly you do could just thing. get in there and risk, you know, yeah. save your own life if they can't get to you mm -hmm. right so that's that the, the last one is you go in this other room and you jump off the tower again. I'm sorry to tell you. Is it the mm -hmm. same foot? Is it the same height or is it a little shorter? Mm -hmm. That, I believe, is taller. It seemed more. It seemed more. It might be the same length. I don't remember. But it's this time you got a life length. jacket on. This is called, um, what is it? Not Man Overboard, but. This one is. Hold on, it's coming to me. A, just know abandoned ship abandoned, abandoned ship. ship yeah that's what it's called so you jump off the tower again this time you got life vests on you jump in the tower mm -hmm. again which that one pissed me off because like it's a life vest when you jump in that motherfucker hit me my chin my like my mouth was like so mm -hmm. sore it was sore for a long time my whole body was sore there. like my arms bitch i can't do it on my but anyway so you jump off it again with the life vest and then go with your sorry y'all sorry about that okay so yeah they're probably gonna like choose like okay so you're gonna go in groups so whatever group is going at the time they're probably gonna choose like one of the first males to be on there because he's gonna be the one lifting you guys up on that um raft you guys are gonna be in life jackets too by the way this time so it's, it's probably much it's gonna be much more much easier and you're not swimming yeah. anywhere because the life raft is in the middle of the pool and it's a smaller pool by the way it's not the olympic pool anymore. It's like a really good pool like if you go to public pools like that. Mm -hmm. So they had the life ref in the middle of the pool. So literally you don't even swim there because like I say you got life jacket on, so don't be mm -hmm. scared. So you kinda just float over there. And it's like y'all going at the same time. Like I said, we're not special. Like they they trying to hurry up and get y'all mm -hmm. get y'all through so they can go home. You know, they do this all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. So you go, you jump, and you like kinda going over there, you know. Mm -hmm. And when you get to the life ref, like she said, they're gonna pick one of y'all, probably the males to help get on the life raft so with me i was so tired that like when you climb up the life raft it has like little like a ladder but it's like 
stream. It's like um, it's like stream, right? Mesh kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So you're trying to like climb up it, but it's slippery and you're tired because you've been. And you are holding on to a thin stream. Yeah, it's thin. Like so. it's hard to even put your foot through it. You know what I mean? If you're so, a little thicker, like me. Yeah, I ain't thicker, but I was just tired. Like big bone. You know, not like big bone, but like you know, a little thicker. Yeah. So you're trying to get up there, right? But somebody like from your division is there and they're like going to pull the bottom of your life vest and like pull you on the um like bro. like on the raft so like you're trying to climb up but they're like pulling your like pulling your, your vest to get you over there because i needed all the help i could get i was so tired like oh my god i wasn't that tired but because you get a little time to like catch your breath but like you know what i mean like just the unknown kind of make you nervous the whole process is going to be pretty much damn whole. i hope that was not annoying Okay, I'm if it was, it I'm sorry. So you get on the life raft, when everybody's on the life raft, then you're gonna get out the life raft and then just go to the side of the pool. Literally, so like, this is the thing, the life raft. And you're not going like long ways to get out the pool, you're going the short way, that makes sense. So you're, mm -hmm. like you're not going that way, you're going like the short way. Yeah, and by the way, they're gonna kind of rush y'all. Yeah, like I said, they don't care they don't about you. They don't attitude, like, Follow suit with what they're saying because you're going to want to be done just as much as they're going to want you to be done. And they are going to rush you. Yeah. So be prepared for that. So that's the last thing. Once you get out of the pool, you put the life vest up. You go in the um, you go in the um, locker room. You put your, your uniform back on. Then, I don't think it was uniform then, was it? Mm, no. I think it had them Smurfs still on. We did have the Smurfs. Well, you put your clothes back on. Then you go back out to the classroom. And they give you a Nutri-Grain bar, an apple, and like some milk or something mm -hmm. then you sit there and talk about like you do like critiques if y'all learn something or somebody was mean y'all whatever yeah and then that's it literally the swim it takes one day like it's not even all day either because we still had hella shit to do like mm -hmm. after that but yeah so the swim is very easy i do not want y'all to stress about it don't stress about it it's so easy it's so simple and i don't want you guys to think either that oh because they're gonna rush y'all they nah. just mean they just want y'all to fail because it's not that that is not the they case don't want y'all they to are come gonna back, actually really. help you to be honest you might want to get fail. ready and used to that yeah when you fail you go back to swim like two yeah, three times a week pass. and they literally start like they baby step you they put i only know because i have friends like in my division that had to go literally they will let you, you go there for like two to three times a week until the end of boot camp like until you pass but it's like a cutoff like if you ain't make it by then you can do it on graduate you get asthma and asthma whenever you get set back in training it's like you won't graduate on your original date with your original right. division so if you fail the first time don't be don't start crying none of that because you have a lot you of opportunities like i said boot camp is 10 weeks this is during p days the very first week like you yeah. have all this time but i don't want y'all to don't take too not, long to pass it. like don't not try because you have more time no because people they say that it's annoying like you get in this little baby pool what her name was miss vicky or something and she's literally teaching y'all how to like baby fucking swim like yeah it's annoying but yeah they do take y'all like two or three times a week and yeah. that's also can get tiring because yeah. you have other training you'll you'll miss stuff and like your swimming is exhausting so for y'all to be going a million times that's just like hell no exactly and if you have the time like if you already set up to go to the military yeah. or go to the navy in general um and you have time before you go and you do not know how to swim mm -hmm. i highly recommend finding a local person in your area that can teach you how to swim the mm -hmm. basics until because honestly like I said, I know how to swim. I wasn't a professional. I don't feel like I'm still a professional yet. But just on the safe side, I took a four-week swimming class, a swimming lesson with a guy. Yeah, I did. Who who was in the Navy, who did all of this stuff before. So he just basically, when I went to the swimming lessons, he literally just ran me through the exact process for the swimming um, training. And when I went to boot camp, I passed the first time. Then I fell. I was not scared. I handled it. And even without swimming lessons, I believe you could do it. Just trust yourself. Don't be afraid. Just do it. Do what they say. Don't catch your attitude. Don't think don't go out there thinking you know it all because you don't. And have fun with it. Make it fun. Like we our division had to make it fun. Like they it's not gonna be fun. Because we're retarded. We it's not gonna be fun. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. But unless you like swimming, then it's easy. Make it fun. Make it fun. Like Go out there and enjoy yourself because 
that it's your experience at yeah. the end of the day. That's a good. Re- that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody can tell about their experience in boot camp. Everybody can tell you like what happened or how they felt about it. But it's your experience at the end of the day. It's up to mm-hmm. you to get you where you want to be. Like I-, I can help you. I can tell you what happened to me, but I can't do it for you. You know, you gotta do it for yourself. Exactly. And it's your experience because what happened to us most likely may not happen to you or it may will like it's it's you really you and your division y'all the ones that gotta make it fun or y'all going the ones that are gonna make it hard and long and That's tough true. and we need to make we're probably gonna make a video on that yeah. like another mukbang yeah maybe yeah but back um, to the how swim. you guys can make it through boot camp yes back to the song real quick i just went to like the YMCA with my mom because I know how to back float but like I said I didn't know to the extent of how much swimming they gonna make me do like because mm-hmm. like I said I can't do all that but I can back float like a motherfucker I can do that so me and my mom went just a couple times to swim just for me to, like she was actually teaching me how to swim swim so I really could have did that but no I just back floated to be safe side because I didn't want to fail but yeah if you do have time and like you know your date that you leave is far out Go ahead and go. Like, just a couple times a week. Go ahead. Literally, I'm telling you right now, you can backflow. So, go back, go there and, and learn how to backflow. Don't yeah. be trying to do all them fucking scissors. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> that side shit here, we're cutting the water. No, backflow it, honey. Yeah, and relax. Either way, if you if you go all out, literally, like, take your time. The first person that got done, he didn't... You don't get nothing extra because you, you don't. went first. Like, nobody cares. Like... They don't care if you was the fastest or the slowest. It doesn't do anything. As long as you get there. So, don't think, oh, I got to hurry up and beat this time. No, not yet. When you get to the fleet, then, yeah. But then, no, y'all. Just, I'm telling you, just. Just relax. Like I said, it's. Yeah. Just take that time. Because that's probably like. Talk to God about it. That's the most relaxing day you're going to get. Honestly, uh, seriously, that is the most relaxing day you're gonna get. Is that swim test? Mm-hmm. Relax in that water, okay? Because you won't touch it again. Like, literally, ever. Like, I literally thought I was gonna go, like, you know, more once often. a week. Being we in the Navy, I feel like everybody should, nah, you man. know, have a little swimming day. Nah, nah man, you know, I, I, I wish that's your one little swimming day, baby. Yeah, that's your test. You're not gonna see that pool again, yeah. okay? Uh, not even. Not not during the whole boot camp experience. That's the only time you're going to see that pool. So I take that day you. to relax and enjoy that water that you're going to be in. So like I said, <clears throat> pass the first time. If not, don't. It's not the end of the world. You'll have time to get there. But get there as fast as you can. We'll talk about that later. But thank you for watching this video. Make sure yes. you like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all go subscribe to Aaliyah Alley, y'all. Link we got in the description box. And Will. And right here, too. And her Instagram, like, right here okay and make sure y'all stay tuned because we got more content coming because i see the videos y'all running it up i feel like y'all want more y'all ask me more questions so that's yeah. what i'm gonna do for y'all because i watched a lot of people's youtube videos about everything in bootcamp so i want to do it for y'all so i want to give back i'm gonna put it back so yeah make sure you stay tuned yeah okay don't forget to like this video like she said yes yeah, subscribe like give my girl to 1k you please she need 1k please by the end of october can we do that yeah. can we do that okay can please. we do that let's get her to 1k yeah. tell your friend tell your mama tell your daddy tell your sister your grandma yeah. tell your I don't care. Daddy. brother all of them your teacher everybody. everybody let's get this girl to 1k yeah all right, all right thank, thank you for watching, watching this video, video. bye, bye. <laughs>